All right, hey guys, this is Gary over at Strip Oil. Just wanted to show you uh, our QCS product on this classic Palmacob chair, Planner Group chair. So we're gonna apply the QCS um, via spray bottle. This is how you would get it if um, you know you order it from us. It would come in a spray bottle, and you're just going to mist the whole surface. And you're gonna do this a couple times. I'm gonna do this off camera, but you're gonna mist it. Let it sit for about 15 minutes, probably missed it again. Maybe give it another 15 minutes or so, and then uh, see how the finish is doing and attempt to take it off. You may even see that it's you know loosening up prior to that, but the most important thing is let the QCS work, and then from there it'll come off really easy. All right, guys, here it is. Uh, it's been about 25 minutes, and what I like to see is you start to see changes happening. So like some separation here, uh, and then when you know like this you can see it's smearing that's a good sign that means that this is dissolving the finish so what I'm gonna do now is just wet it again and then I'm gonna start to scrub it and see if I can just get all this finish off nice and easy all right so what I did was I just poured a little QCS into this cup this cup is a little dirty so that's why it's discolored uh, and now I'm just gonna take this number one steel wool um, really any any coarseness is okay um, I don't like to go super coarse because you avoid scratching the wood the, the finer you stay, but sometimes 4-0 will work, you know, really fine, and then other times, you know, this works really well. So I'm gonna use the number one. I'm gonna just dip it into the QCS, get it nice and wet, and then I'm just gonna start to scrub. And I'm not trying to be super particular right now. All I'm trying to do is release the finish, and I'm gonna go around with a towel and wipe it all off. And again, it's not flammable, so those towels and things you don't have to worry about after the fact but this finish is just coming right off you can see all that grime and all that old finish is scrubbing right off so i'm going to do that to the whole chair and then show you where we're at okay so that was about five minutes of scrubbing so again labor time in this is very small um it's really just letting it soak so it soaked for about 25 minutes then I just scrubbed every surface with 1-0 steel wool, and you can see what's nice is it has no water in it, so it doesn't it doesn't evaporate, um, so it stays wet. So you can really do the whole chair, and then from there, all you're going to do is take a clean towel like this, and you're just going to wipe the surface clean. And um, you could do this with uh, you know a couple passes if you want, but that's down to the bare wood. Um, any sheen you're seeing is just the material just hasn't dried yet, the QCS, but that's down to bare wood now. And what I usually do is go over it after I've dried off all, gotten off all the loose finish and QCS, I just take a damp cloth and go over it with some water, um, not saturated, just damp, and just clean off any more residue. But I'll show you after that. All right, and that is how you strip a Paul Macabre dining chair uh, with about 10 minutes of labor, roughly. Um, there was some soaking time, some downtime, but um, this factory finish for Paul Macabre, you know, this is down to bare wood now. What's nice is we get asked a lot in, on the restoration side of our business, um, you know, how to get the color of Macabre back, how to get that color back. To be honest, when you strip with QCS, it leaves so much of the original color in the wood and it doesn't change it because there's no water in, um, in the blend, in our formula, that it doesn't gray the wood or do anything like that. It really leaves that color, like as soon as you put some more finish on this, it would come right back and be almost exactly the way it was. So the more you know, the time you spend cleaning it in the stripping phase, the less sanding you have to do and the less color uh, you know, work you have to do at the end. As I've told pretty much all of the uh, beta testers and all the early adopters of QCS, all the pre-order um, early adopters, you know, QCS is really, we call it a vintage finish uh, remover. So. It's going to work great on, you know, the antique finishes. It's going to work great on the uh, kind of the mid-century finishes. Most of them, um, some of them were conversion varnish or thicker, harder finishes. That's where QCS will lag a little bit. That's where you're going to have to let it soak and let it work. It will eventually cut through, but you're not going to have that quick turnaround, and you're probably going to use a lot more material on those thicker finishes. So on these, like Paul Macabre pieces, QCS is, is, is a dream. I mean, it, it takes it off so fast so clean and uh, you can do a whole set of chairs and you know with uh, 30 minutes of labor or so you know not not very much at all just soak them and then get get scrubbing but um so it works great on some things it will lag on others but that's qcs on a paul macabre planner group dining chair